Hey guys, find me around back to the universe. So guys, I finally figured how to fix the ATPM 2.0, so how to enable it on your computer. As you can see, I just did it, and now I got a check mark, and it's saying that this PC can run Windows 11. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to do this step by step. So let's get started. Hey guys, from my phone, from Tech Help, I'm Austin Technology. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to turn on the TPM 2.0 and to fix this so you can so you can run the uh, web brand Windows 11 with on it come out. So before I show you guys how to fix this step by step, let's make sure you, you just click there, hit subscribe and turn the bell. Because to, to when the Windows 11 come out, I'm gonna make a, a full a tutorial on that as well. Because also in this year, goal is to get 1,000 subscribers. So if you he, see a subscribe button, just uh, click it. So as you can see here, I do have this. As you can see, it's saying the uh, great news that this PC is uh, is ready for Windows 11, and of course it's free. And we're gonna let you know when it's ready to install. I think the iOS will the beta will come out in one to two weeks. Okay, so if it come out, I'll be the first one to upload it. So that's a difficult. Uh, uh, like the uh, that's a don't forget to drop a like and just click and hit it on the bell. So this is how to enable it. You're gonna do you're gonna go to start menu click on start and click on reset and now on your keyboard you're gonna press an f12 or delete to g g g g get in the bios so if you keep pressing it and, and if you see this this to turn on and then go in the, the boot menu if you see something like this so after you come here you're gonna go on the uh, setting then you're gonna tap on this the third one right here Tap on it, Intel Platform Trust Technology, so PTP, make sure this is enabled. So first it will be disabled, make sure you would enable this. So after you enable it, you're going to go to save and exit, you can save and exit, guys make sure you save this, if you don't eliminate, if you don't e enable it, it will not work. So make sure you save it and click on yes. After that is done, now I'm gonna just uh, give it a few seconds until this thing to load. Because for this, I'm not gonna skip any of the parts, so you guys know it's working. And for me, it's a gigabyte my, my motherboard. So if you have a different motherboard, it, it should be a different setting. But thing is, you need to turn on the uh, PTP mode if you're on Intel. Guys, after your PC boot up, now you're gonna just uh, open up any browser you want. So I'm gonna just use Google Chrome, and then you're gonna go to the Microsoft.com. So you're gonna go to their official website. Then you're gonna tap on Windows. I give it a few seconds. Now, gonna tap on the new Windows 11. Tap on it. Now, you're gonna go all the way down until you see the download the app right here. So, you're gonna go all the way down until you see this right here. And check for compatibility. Just tap on download app. Now, click on save. As you can see, I already have it. So, I'm gonna just run it. So, just open up your download folder and then just you tap on run. And now, you're gonna see it's gonna start installing. Okay, that is th that is done. Now, gonna just click on check now. And then, if you, sh if you did this correctly, now it should say saying that a, a, a great news and then you should see a check mark so guys so that was it for this video if you guys don't get top link guys one second guys click the red subscribe button see you guys on the next one then peace out